sustainability is something that's really important to Lincoln Public Schools, whether it's talking about waste or energy or transportation. So this is just another way that we're connecting it in the classroom and thinking about you know real world application. Lately, we have been working on the uh, construction of this table that is made from recycled plastics and mixed with some wood to help with the regeneration and continuation of a good product. Just starting this class, we kind of, uh, I wasn't really sure what my project was going to be and Spick approached me with it and um, just uh, like asked me if I wanted to work on a picnic bench with uh, plastic wood. So, you know, I thought it was pretty cool and just to be able to work with that stuff. This is part of a new program called Project School Board and it's actually out of First Star Recycling in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, they are providing plastic lumber that is made from recycled, hard to recycle plastic. One that gets people a lot is things like this plastic cutlery. So I've got plastic fork, spoon, knife here. Um, this material before would have to go in a trash can or as we call it at LPS, a landfill bin. Um, and this would have been destined for the landfill because there was no other viable option for it to be recycled. Now with the Hefty Renew bag, we are actually able to collect things like this plastic cutlery, um, plastic film, like these types of bags. Um, again, before this would have had to go in the trash and now it can be recycled. We talk about, um, of course, wood is a resource that uh, doesn't just regenerate instantly. So um, having a product that is seems to be taking over the world and being able to repurpose it is, is great. I mean, it makes sawdust, but it's kind of more waxy, I guess. So, um, but it's basically the same as regular wood. I don't really see it too much of a difference. I just think it's a good idea to, you know, reuse the plastic that we, I mean, we waste a lot of it. So it's nice to have another use for it. It's one thing for students and staff and any visitors in our LPS schools um, to be helping us by recycling and keeping material out of the landfill but then to have that kind of closed loop, full cycle of what is this material actually being manufactured into is the really exciting part and that doesn't always happen locally so the fact that it's happening here in Nebraska is really exciting.